Hey guys, Battles of Carriga here. Today I'm counting down my top 10 non Gundam mobile suits. If you're interested in seeing my top 10 Gundams, click the annotation on the side to see that video. And now, without further ado, here we go. Number 10, the Razo R. Just like my top 10 Gundams list, I'm starting this one off with a mobile suit from Gundam Age. The Razo R didn't have much screen time, but the little time it did definitely got my attention. Piloted by Zahar, the Razo R reminds me of a gorilla. A red gorilla with razors for hands that shred the enemy apart. Number 9, the Lego. I'm going to be real here and tell you that the reason I like the Lego is because it reminds me of a Zoid. As a kid, I was literally wondering, why is there a Zoid in Gundam? And while it is not in fact a Zoid, the similarity is still there. And to this day, I like it. Even if I do suck with the Lego in Gundam Extreme vs. Full Boost. Number 8. The Taurus. Ah, the Taurus. It's like the Gundam Wing equivalent to the putties from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as in their cannon fodder that are more often than not floating coffins. But that doesn't make them any less cool looking whether they're in black or white. Number 7. The Rosen Zulu. Coming in at number 7 is the absolutely fabulous Rosen Zulu. While I don't care much for his pilot Angelo, the Rosen Zulu is still a favorite. Never thought a purple mech with high heels would win me over, but seeing this thing disable waves of enemy mobile suits and Gundam Unicorn using wire guided lasers changed my mind. Number 6. The Susanao. The Japanese mythological figure Susanao is everywhere nowadays. Naruto, Shimigami Tensei, Yu-Gi-Oh, and even in Gundam. While being a mech and not an ancient warrior or creature, this Susanao is still pretty badass. Able to fight on even ground with the Suedo Super Robot 00 Gundam, the Susanao is equipped with a pair of sick GN blades that are fashioned in the shape of ancient Japanese katana. Oh, and they combine. That's always worth cool points. And besides being a beast at combat, the Susanao just looks freaking awesome. It was the perfect partner for Mr. Bushi though. Number 5, the Tall Geese 3. The Tall Geese 3 is like the love child of the Tall Geese 2 and the Epion. And that's a good thing. Take the frame of the Tall Geese 2 and the Heat Whip and the Epion system of the Epion and you got this badass piece of machinery. I also gotta give it points for the helmet homage to Char Asnable. Number 4, the Rezel. As mentioned in my Top 10 Gundams video, I'm a huge fan of the Zeta Gundam and other variable fighters. That's why it should come as no surprise I'm a huge fan of the Rezel from Gundam Unicorn, as it's the second attempt to mass produce the Zeta Gundam. Nothing too flashy here, standard beam weaponry and a shield, but that doesn't make it any less awesome in my book. Also the default paint job is sexy. Number 3, the Catastrophist Marita's Mech. Marita's Mech from Gundam Unicorn is pretty much the Queen Mantha on steroids, and I love it. This monster has a total of 24 fin funnels stored in it that can melt armor. And if that wasn't enough, it can wield at least four beam sabers at once like General Grievous from Star Wars. This mech is just everything I'd want in a mobile suit and more. Number 2, the Sinanju. Continuing the Gundam Unicorn entries is the mobile suit piloted by the man Harold as the second coming of Shar. Now I'll admit a big part of why I like the Sinanju has to deal with the pilot itself, full frontal. But that doesn't make the Sinanju any less cool. While it doesn't support the flashiest arsenal of weapons, it gets the job done. But I will admit the fact it can turn its shield into a giant beam axe is pretty badass and unique. And last but not least, let's not forget that sick paint job. And before I get to number one, here are some honorable mentions. Number one. The Sazabi. Sorry Full Frontal can't beat the original. Why do I like the Sazabi? To put it simply, this mobile suit is Char Asnable. To me it just symbolizes everything Char stood for as a character at the point where he used it in combat. I know that might sound vague, but I can't express it any other way than that. Maybe it's the signature color, the shield with the Neo Zeon insignia on it, or the trademark one Night head. But the Sazabi is the perfect example of how you make a mobile suit truly represent a character. And I know the Sinanju incorporates all those things I listed, but I just don't get the same feeling from it. 
Regardless, the Sazabi stands at the top of my list, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. Well, there you have it, guys. I'm interested to see what mobile suits you guys like. So, if you want, leave it in the comments. And be sure to check out my Top 10 Gunnums video if you haven't already. And thank you for watching, and have a great day.